This is David, WA9ONY. I've taken the case off an RTL-SDR.com receiver. It's version 3. At the front were the SMA connector. It covers a frequency range of 24 MHz to approximately 1.7 GHz. That goes to a tuner chip. The tuner chip is a R820T2. The 2 stands for second generation. Below this big capacitor is a temperature compensated crystal. Offers accuracy of one part per million or better. The star of the show. This is the quadrature demodulation and USB interface. It's the RTL 2832U, which is found in a large number of different receiver dongles. And because somebody figured out how to stream the IQ data out of the USB port, we now have a low-cost software-defined radio with many different software implementations. Some components down in here are chokes. Chokes prevent the noise from the computer coming on the 5 volt USB line. The USB interface has four wires. The two outside, one is power and one's ground. And then the two center ones are differential. That's where the serial data is transferred. This chip supports several different sample rates. 500 kilohertz, about all the way up to 2.4 megahertz reliably, and it transfers 8-bit values of I and Q. So for every sample, there is two bytes, an I byte and a Q byte. That's an 8-bit data for each one of those, and those stream off to the computer, and it's the computer's job to utilize that data to show RF spectrum, decode modulation like FM, AM, upper sideband, CW, and etc. The nice thing about this uh, design, if we take a look at it, this is a metal case that provides shielding. But if we flip the circuit board over, we have this conductive pad that goes up against the case. That conductive pad is a thermal conductive pad, not an electric pad. And that transfers the heat from our circuit board to the case, and the case then radiates that away. Heat's bad for electronics because it increases the noise. And it's one step to make sure the circuitry is running cooler and it generates less noise. This is David, WA901Y, 73 and QRT.